Glacier National Park. We got Site 184. And as you can see, it's a pretty open site. And walk over here. It goes pretty far back. There's a nice tent pad. A barbecue grill, picnic table. Goes all the way over here. Loop again? You want to go back around again? Okay, we can go back around. <laughs> I guess we're going back around. Okay. Right. So in the Apgar uh, campground here, they got lots of wooded trees and everything. So we have solar up on the roof of the RV. Uh, 300 watts, three panels up there. Uh, however, with the shading, it uh, doesn't produce much. And I also have the portable go power one that I can move and put it into the sun. And right now I'm getting about 6.9 to 7 amps because I'm able to get it out of the shading and uh, out here where it goes. I have a 50 foot drop cord so I can really move it around wherever I need to to get the sun to hit it. And that helps out a lot. western corner of Glacier. It's a little bit of a bumpy one way in road. It's uh, got a lot of rocks and stuff. If you have a high clearance vehicle, it would be okay, but we have seen cars. There's uh, been some Toyota Corollas and everything up here. Um, right here at the lake, they do have uh, some tent camping and stuff up behind us here. And uh, first come, first serve, and doesn't look like there's very much here. Uh, very remote. It's uh, 17 miles back out to the main road and uh, it's pretty much going about 10 miles an hour, if that, most of that road, and to get up here, but it's well worth it. There's not, not a lot of people up here. We have uh, most of it to ourselves, a couple hiking trails along the way. It did have a sign that said that the parking was full. There was about uh, three open spots, but there really is only about six spots available total. But the rangers were nice about it, and we just pulled off to the side, asked you how long you were gonna be here. Um, didn't really see a sign on how many camping spots are, but there's not a lot, and it's definitely just tent camping to get out here. But as you saw in the parking lot, there was a couple cars. So pretty much almost if you're adventurous, you can get out here with any car. The way out. Mm -hmm. A very bumpy way out. Would you have some uh, neat little things like this? This is a, uh, a homestead cabin they restored in 2001. It was originally built in the summer of 1908. A, a family of six lived in that. So we're here at uh, Bowman Creek, just on our way back out from uh, the lake, and uh, 
This is the uh, Ranger Station East or West entrance to uh, Glacier Park. Uh, to Kitna Lake, it was about uh, 13 miles. It took us uh, pretty much right at an hour to get back down. Um, when we went up this morning, there was only one vehicle that came outbound. And like when we got up there, there was three parking spots or so available. As we came down, there must have been at least a dozen vehicles that we passed going back up that way. So parking in the afternoon would be very difficult up there. There is uh, a uh, the big country trailhead that's right up there that you can, uh, there's probably uh, at least a dozen parking spots and about half of those were available when we were up there. Um, some things to keep in mind there is zero provisions anywhere up there. If you want food, snacks, or water, you have to bring it in yourself. Uh, dogs, you can have dogs at the campground up there and right at the lake, but uh, all the trailheads right there had uh, no dogs allowed past uh, the trailhead point.